Okay, good evening. It's just a little past 7 o'clock. I'd like to call the meeting of the Urbana City Council to order. Would the clerk please call the roll? Mr. Ammon? Here. Mr. Brown? Here. Mr. Jacobson? Here. Mr. Madigan? Here. Ms. Marlin? Here. Mr. Roberts? Here. Mr. Smythe? Here. Mayor Preston? Here. First item is the approval of the minutes of the previous meeting. Um, we have July 5th, 2016, and a special meeting on July 11th. I move approval of the minutes of those two meetings. Motion by Jacobson, seconded by Smythe. Any additions or corrections? Uh, Mr. Ammons. I think that, uh, okay, I do, uh, maybe they are on the back side of here, huh? Okay, I see them now. Okay. All right, yeah. Okay. Anyone else? Uh, all those in favor, please signify, signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? That motion carries. Are there any additions to the agenda? Okay, petitions and communications. I don't have anybody who has filed a card to speak. Um, did you want to say something, Dennis? Sure. Introduce some people. Right. So uh, what we do have is a few of the individuals who are here on the YALI, the Young African Leadership Initiative um, visit to uh, Urbana. Uh, some of these gentlemen uh, came to us and uh, had an introduction to uh, city council activities, met uh, the mayor um, here in the city building, talked to our financial director, um, Chief of Police, uh, Todd Rent, Human Relations Officer, um, and Brandon Boys, and Mike Munson was here as Chief Officer, Chief um, Staff Officer, to um, in, learn a little bit about municipal uh, government and how it works and some of the aspects of um, um, that you know, of running the uh, government here in uh, Urbana, and they're going to be coming to. They're invited to come to. A, uh, our sister cities meeting, uh, which is going to be on um, Wednesday night over at S Strawberry Fields Restaurant, um, and uh, probably take a tour of the of the downtown after the meeting. They'll be here for a couple more weeks. Well, welcome to the city council. And I think Aaron has also yes, in Aaron. In interacted with them. Yes, and welcome to you, brothers. Um, also, I was going to say something during the additions to the agenda, but uh, I'll say it now that. I do want to remind the council that we promised the commission and uh, concerned citizens that we would discuss the uh, IDOT traffic stop data recommendations uh, at least once a month, if not more. But if I'm not mistaken, we have not had it on the agenda since 523, and it'll be August before we get an opportunity to talk about that again. So I would request that they be that those items, recommendations, would be put on the agenda for our next meeting. Okay, we can do that. Anyone else? Okay, let's move on. Um, unfinished business, we don't have any that we're gonna deal with, at least. Reports of standing committees, the Committee of the Whole. Yeah. Who is doing the Committee of the Whole? Eric. Oh, did I? Okay, Eric. sorry about that. Um, so, on behalf of the Committee of the Whole, I move ordinance number 2016-07-054, an ordinance revising the fiscal year 2015-2016 annual budget for the purpose of correcting fiscal year 2016 estimates. Second. Okay, motion by Jacobson, seconded by Marlin. Any discussion? Would the clerk please call the roll? Mr. Ammons? Yes. Mr. Brown? Yes. Mr. Jacobson? Yes. Mr. Madigan? Yes. Ms. Marlin? Yes. Mr. Roberts? Yes. Mr. Smite? Yes. Mayor Preston? Yes. And Mayor, could I, could I just... Yes, that motion carries. Could Mr. I just, Roberts? As a, just as an explanation, um, these items that we're going through now uh, are uh, items that we've discussed at the last meeting more in detail and at this meeting we're unless there's issues about them that still remain we're basically just approving them we normally bring things to the committee of the whole <clears throat> and then 
we take it to the City Council and Eric Jacobson chaired the Committee of the Whole and now he's making the recommendations from that committee to the Council. Same people but different, um, different levels of City Government. Um, whoa. So on behalf of the Committee of the Whole, I move ordinance number 2016-07-055, an ordinance revising the annual budget ordinance for fiscal year 2016-2017 for the purpose of rebudgeting Boneyard Creek expenses. Second. Motion by Jacobson, seconded by Ammons. Any discussion? Would the clerk please call the roll? Mr. Ammons. Yes. Mr. Brown. Yes. Mr. Jacobson. Yes. Mr. Madigan. Yes. Ms. Marlin. Yes. Mr. Roberts? Yes. Mr. Smite? Yes. Mayor Pressing? Yes. That motion carries. Um, on behalf of the Committee of the Whole, I move ordinance number 2016-07-056, an ordinance authorizing the purchase of certain real estate, namely 202 and 204 North Wood Street. I'll second that. Okay, before we vote, I'd like to insert into the record a communication that I had from a constituent relative to this. I think everybody on council got this, but I followed up with some correspondence and promised uh, Mr. Springer to, to read his note into the record. Um, and it is as follows. We have lived at 206 Northwood Street, and this is immediately north of the properties we're purchasing. Since 1984, longer than any of our neighbors and have seen and participated in many changes in this small, tight-knit community, we have followed with interest the development along the Boneyard and have watched and wondered how our stretch of land along Wood Street might be used in the future. The recent redevelopment plan specifically designated our side of Wood Street to be green space or a park. And I was pleased to note that our particular house was spared from proposed purchase during last night's council meeting, which is the ordinance we're considering now. Uh, he's referring to the Committee of the Whole. My wife, Lee Petri Springer, died in June after a brief and unexpected illness. Her loss is deeply felt by the community and her contribution to this street and this neighborhood is inestimable. With gardening, neighborhood functions, leadership in the neighborhood association, a constant and supportive presence as many children in many households were welcomed in our home and yard. Her passing was noted in the News Gazette by reporter Melissa Murley for her wonderful presence her memorial service was widely attended with many testimonials about the influence of Lee on their lives. I would like to submit a formal petition that the development of this area, even if it should eventually claim our house in the process, be in some way dedicated to Lee, either a naming of the area or a memorial bench or similar effort. I believe many people would be willing to contribute to this cause just as Lee devotedly was dedicated <coughs> to the causes of social and environmental justice during her life. If there is some way I can put such a request on record for future development plans, please let me know how to do so. I know Lee would be greatly pleased to know that the stretch of land to the south of us <coughs> would be used for a green space, a park, and an extension of the garden she lovingly cultivated here, making Urbana and the world a <coughs> better and brighter place. Thank you, P. Gregory Springer. So in, in subsequent communication, I, I uh, promised him that I would read the letter into the public record as, as I have now, and I would simply add my support for his request. And, and so I have also sent a copy to um, Public Works and uh, to Community Development. Um, So. so there's a motion yeah. by Jacobson, seconded by Roberts, for ordinance number 2016-07-056. Any other comments? Uh, Mr. Roberts. Yeah. I just want to uh, thank staff uh, and I guess the mayor as well uh, for pursuing the purchase of this property. As we uh, try to build um, and expand the parkway along the creek, the Boneyard Creek, this additional piece of property will allow an access from a different direction in from the community in that neighborhood that's northeast of the creek, northwest of the creek. And um, I'm hoping that in the future we'll be able to additionally 
um, purchase other pieces of property to the west of the five or the seven, whatever it is, number of seven uh, uh, segments of the Boneyard Creek that have been designed so that we can extend the creek uh, amenity to the west toward the university. Okay. I, I, I do favor having Mr. Springer live there as long as he wants to, however. <laughs> okay, if anyone else want to comment? Would the clerk please call the roll? Mr. Ammons? Yes. Mr. Brown? Yes. Mr. Jacobson? Yes. Mr. Madigan? Yes. Ms. Marlin? Yes. Mr. Roberts? <coughs> yes. Mr. Smite? Yes. Mayor Pressing? Yes. That motion carries. And now, <coughs> last, probably not least, resolution number 2016-07-047R, a resolution approving property tax rebates for a certain property within the Behringer Commons subdivision, namely 2809 East Clarion Road. For the committee, I move approval. Second. Okay, motion by Jacobson, seconded by Mr. Madigan. Um, any discussion? Would the clerk please call the roll? Mr. Ammons? Yes. Mr. Brown? Yes. Mr. Jacobson? Yes. Mr. Madigan? Yes. Ms. Marlin? Yes. Mr. Roberts? Yes. Mr. Smythe? Yes. That motion carries. Uh, reports of special committees? I don't think we have any tonight. Reports of officers? Do we have any reports of officers? Okay, we'll move on to new business. Uh, one appointment, which is very controversial. It's <laughs> Audrey Ishii to um, the Bicycle and Pedestrian Advisory Commission. <laughs> so I would appreciate, I think she's very talented and at least one other person on this council agrees. So, um, Yes, make a motion. I move approval of this uh, nomination. Second. Okay, motion by Jacobson, seconded by Marlin. Any discussion? All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? That motion carries, and please convey to Ms. Ishii that it was unanimous. <laughs> so thank you. And there being no further business, this meeting is adjourned.